Hey folks, Mark here. I just received the Ioptron HEM44 hybrid mount, which is kind of new. The hybrid mounts, of course, have been out for a while, but the Ioptron ones, I haven't seen a whole lot of them on YouTube. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to break it open and show it to you. I think it might be kind of neat to see it from the get-go and whether or not it's really exciting blah 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 so let's go ahead and let's open this guy up real quick and then later on tonight we can get some images if it clears up but considering the fact that I've just bought a piece of equipment means it's going to be cloudy for the next 17 days so as you can see it comes in a hard case the hard case is kind of nice for storage and then the unit itself let's take a look at the shelf here it has the counterweight shaft which came with it which is nice just in case you need to have a counterweight but the unit is rated for 40 pounds, I believe. And then from there, uh, you can put the counterweight shaft on it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take it out there. And there's where your counterweight shaft would go. This unit comes with the built-in eye polar. has the eye polar there. And then it has a dual Vixen Lumsmandy plate holder here so in case you have either one or the other and then of course on the front here let's take a look at this guy it has all your controls your power in your on off switch the connection for your eye polar scope your hand controller the USB feed through and if you look here on the front the USB on this guy feeds through from here down to the front so if you're going to control your mount with that ASI air then that's the way you would do it and then of course your auto guide port if you're actually going to do the auto guiding and then of course you got your two screws here for mounting it to the connection on the pier and then you can set it here for your latitude depending on whether or not you're in a low latitude or a high latitude I'm in a high latitude, so I'm going to have to switch this out to the high latitude settings. You remove the screws from both sides, you pop out the nut, you move it up, you reconnect it, and then you make the adjustments. So, there you go. That's that. We'll set that over there real quick. And, of course, you got your hand controller here. This is the 8409 hand controller. And it's specifically made for the harmonic drives. It's a little bit smaller than the older ones. It's kind of dinky, but for the most part, it does the same job. And it's got a pretty good database in it. And then uh, what's unusual about this guy is it came with an AC adapter, which is kind of rare. I've never seen an AC adapter because most people run them off of DC. And then we've got of course some of your USB cables and some extra peripherals here let's see what else we've got in the bag here we get a couple extra nuts some keys we get a center post pin for the adapter and then we've got a big long USB connector for the mini the iPolar to USB so you don't have to go out and buy that cable other than that the case is pretty well empty it fits everything let's go ahead and we'll install it and later on tonight we'll give you a shot and show you what it's all about we'll talk to you then all right folks we're back in action here we have got it set up powered up and I've actually turned on the ASI air application and you can see that here that we've got it up and running 
And now I'm just going to take it and I'm going to point it towards the cigar gallery. Cigar galaxy, excuse my French. And as you can see, it's quite quiet and fairly good moving. We are up and running and it looks like it's got its target and it's looking at it right now even though it's broad daylight this new mount can see through the light and find stars regardless of day or night which is one of the reasons I bought it just kidding anyway uh, for the most part it looks like we're working it's quiet it's holding everything together and now I'm going to take the telescope go through the app here Let's look here, and I'm going to the telescope section, and I'm going to hit the go to home position, hit it, and here it comes. It's swinging around, and it's going to go back to the home position. So, later on tonight, we'll give it a shot. If it clears up, we'll get some stars. If not, we'll have to give it a few days till it clears up. We'll talk to you then.